Okay, so this is my 1935 National Duellian guitar. <clears throat> it's got the silver Duco finish on it. Uh, pretty good condition. When I bought this guitar, it was a square neck and it had some issues. Uh, biggest issue was uh, at some point it had been hit very hard in the face of it. Uh, the cover plate strap was broken off and missing. Uh, the uh, biscuit on top of the cone was also missing. Uh, the cover plate itself was uh, crushed inward so the cover plate was now concave instead of convex and the cone, uh, resonator cone had been pretty much crushed uh, flat as a pancake. Um, and it was also a square neck guitar. Uh, so I, as you can see it's been converted, I converted it to a, a Spanish neck guitar. Um, this has a nitrocellulose finish on it. Uh, pretty much reproduced the same uh, shaded uh, color that the neck would have had originally. Um, I've reinforced, this is a new fretboard. Um, it's a uh, Madagascar Rosewood fretboard. It's got the uh, Ivoroid dots on it. Um, has a slight radius, a 14 foot radius on it. Has two carbon fiber rods reinforcing it along with a truss rod. Uh, the truss rod is actually adjustable uh, from inside of the guitar. You have to remove the plate and the cone, and at that point you can actually access the end of the truss rod uh, with a long hex key. Um, but what I've found is that uh, with those two carbon fiber rods in there, <clears throat> the truss rod is, I think, redundant. Um, if I do uh, any more nationals in the future, it may not put a truss rod in. Uh, the carbon fiber rods seem to stiffen the neck uh, so much that it's actually almost impossible to move the neck anyways with the truss rod. So it's stayed um, just completely straight uh, for about the last year. Uh, the headstock is, is completely original. Uh, the tuner is a replacement. The tuners are uh, Stuart McDonald Golden Age tuners. Um, the cone is a beard cone. Uh, of course, it has a new uh, biscuit biscuit bridge on it. And of course, I replaced the uh, cover plate strap, uh, which I got from uh, NRP. Uh, other than that, it's in really excellent condition. Um, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with the with the beard cone in here. It has a